guys, it's me, Sean, with Citation Gurus, and today I wanted to talk to you about a program called Hide My WP. This is a program that will not only help speed up your WordPress website, but it will also help you hide all the JavaScript code and all the other parts of your site that say WP in the code. Uh, if you take a look at the source and you actually say view source, you would see a lot of plugins where it says WP, any JavaScript URLs say WP, all that says WP, which allows hackers to know that your website is a WordPress website. So what this plugin does is goes ahead and rewrites all of that and redirects all of your URLs and gives it a random string with letters and numbers so that your website is safe and it also minifies the code so it will also make your website run faster. Splits it over to the site and check out the plugin. I already have it installed. When you have it installed it'll be under settings and then you just go to hide my WP and this one's actually really simple to use. You will get a purchase code and you can put your purchase code in this is so that it will update. You'll need this for the API so that it will update automatically. But then it's really simple to use. You can literally just go to import options, light privacy, medium privacy, medium quick, and high privacy. I usually choose medium privacy quick because this is going to set it to do a quick minify and it's going to set the URL rewrites to quick and this one is one of the most compatible ones. Uh, high is not really that compatible because whenever you see these little stars like what you would see on a required in a form that actually means that it's less compatible with the system and using that could possibly crash the website. So I usually just go to medium privacy quick and then it's going to say you may lose your current settings. Is it okay? okay and then you get all this code that it's going to put into your ht access file once you click save so then we just go down to save settings okay it's going to give you another warning saying that it's going to overwrite it then over to general settings and then you have 404 page template this will allow you to choose do you want the default 404 or do you want a custom page? You can create a page and this plugin will allow you to forward it to that 404 page, not the default one that's with the template. Then you also have trusted user roles. Here you can check which user roles are trusted and whenever you set someone outside of these user roles, it will not allow them to see certain things in the back end. Then you also have replace mode. Uh, when you do a quick, it's just going to do a partial quick. You can do a full page, which will use cache. Uh, partial quick, I've found, is usually the fastest one for me. Uh, it's going to go through and replace all of the WP with that string of random code. So this actually helps out quite a bit. It's also going to, when it minifies, take out a lot of code from the page and the page will go from like 1500 lines of code to like a thousand or less lines of code so each page gets a lot taken out of it which makes the site run a lot faster because it doesn't have all that extra code uh, then you're gonna have high login page this is optional I usually do hide the login page just because this is more secure if you turn on this hide login page it's going to create a redirect to another login page it's not going to have WP admin it's going to have a custom one the custom one is going to be what you set the login query to I usually just leave it as hide my WP and then you can do a admin login key this does not have to be one two three four you can make this whatever you want it this is just the pin at the end and then your new login URL is going to be I'll show you here quick it will be something like 
let's say I'm going to my site, it would be citationgurus.com slash WP login dot PHP and then you can see it there question mark hide underscore my underscore WP equals and then your pin and then that is going to take you to your admin once you have that set up and you have the redirect set up or not set up uh, you're also going to have hide admin folder and its files from untrusted users if you uncheck this, you're going to want to uncheck this too. It's great to have both checked, but if you uncheck this one and you don't uncheck this one, it's going to hide WP Admin from all users. So you're not going to be able to get to it with WP Admin just by unchecking this one. Uh, you also have Spy Notify, send an email to the site admin whenever someone visits a 404 page and you can tell it if you have a customized HT access and you don't want it to mess with your HT access code as well. These settings it's going to have automatically set the feed meta, other meta, hide admin bar, default tagline. I always check this one too, it's always unchecked. Remove version. This is going to remove the version number from all JavaScript URLs so it's going to remove the WordPress version number. And then, of course, I always make sure hide other files is checked and directory list is checked because that's going to hide your .html files and your .txt files. And then after I do that, save settings. And then go over to the permalinks. And then the minify style I always just do quick uh, you have safe which it says is more compatible but quick usually works with all themes so I just do quick because quick actually works faster and takes out more of the code and then you have all this other stuff here that you don't really need to worry about but then you have the anti-spam you want to ch make sure this is checked because this is going to enable the anti-spam which is going to help cut down on spam to the website and this will enable spam or enable spam protection all over the website not just like on a common form or in a certain area because this is going into your HT access file you then have author URLs. Uh, if you enable these ones, author URLs, feed URLs, all this, you can actually have it create custom URLs and all these will go to custom URLs. They will no longer be the old URL, but this plugin will 301 redirect all of that automatically for you. So no worries there because when it redirects it, 301 redirects to the HT access file so that all those URLs are redirected but you don't have the WP and you don't have the WordPress code in your site and then once you do this and you have that quick setup it is going to also help boost the speed because like I said it removes all that extra code so this plugin here can help increase speed of the site by one second or more depending on how much code it takes out of the page and what all plugins and redirects you have in a page and then of course the one last thing when you have everything set up and you have that all working you can come over to a site like is it WP and you can test it and then when I go ahead and I put my URL in and say click to find it says bad news everyone this website is not using WordPress but actually this site is using WordPress has a WordPress admin so you can use a site like this to make sure that everything is working and that your redirects are working and that it is in fact not displaying the code 
So this plugin is great for hacking bots and all those bots that try to get into your site and they crawl sites all day long searching for WordPress code and the second they find it then they try and get in through different methods and this can help prevent some of that and add a little bit of extra security to your website.